Hello everybody and welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pit Stain Hobbies. I'm your host Ian and when I say dumbest, I really, I'm not just playing like, oh my god, every time I forget to do a sound check, I end up with silent video. My fancy little uh, Rode wireless mics, you know, all the cool YouTube kids are using. Yeah, the damn receiver was just like toasty. I don't know. I had to reset it. It's finally working. Welcome back. We're on pack three of the beautiful Agora models, A6M Zero Fighter. Really cool model. Really, you know, it's not it's not like an alien or, a, or a, you know, an Optimus Prime or a car or anything. or a sh It's an airplane. It's a pretty cool part work. There's not a ton of airplanes out there. Um, I think some, I think there might be another one coming out soon. I'm not sure if it's mostly wood or not, but either way, check out Agora models below the new James Bond 007 DB5 from No Time to Die. That thing's about to pop. Uh, I think they're ready to ship in like a, a few days. It starts shipping next week. I think that thing looks freaking badass, especially with the battle damage, like the bullet holes in the glass and all the scrapes and bullet holes in the fenders and stuff. That thing, if I build that, it's definitely getting the battle damage. Definitely. I want it to be as movie accurate as possible, and that just looks cool. Um, so Pack 3 is a little itty-bitty box, and uh, it has a whole lot of little bits in it, and it's mostly the cockpit. Uh, sta <laughs> stage 16, which we recorded in absolute silence. I don't know what I'm going to do with that footage, but basically this machine gun, the body of the machine gun is two halves. The barrel is a piece with a little tab notch on it. And there's an LED, and you just bend the LED at a 90-degree angle, lay it in the body, put a dab or two of CA glue just on the pins inside, not too much, place the barrel in there, no glue, and then glue on the handle, and that's really, that's really it. It's pretty simple. If I can salvage some of that silent footage and do something with it, I don't know. I'm not a good video editor. I literally record these clips, and I, I just stitch them together, and poof, that's what you get. I do single take on everything. Um, except when I screw up so royally, now I'm re-recording the intro. That being said, awesome model. Click the links, my email's down there, my Amazon store with where you can buy all these little tools and things I use. Even the flux capacitors in the Amazon store. Um, but yeah, power supplies and nippers and screwdrivers and you need your eyes for this model, gentlemen and ladies. Um, tiny parts, you know? Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna start off the audio equipped deluxe version of this episode of the build videos with stage 17 since i am a complete dumbass yes there we go well you're not learning anything new there i guess but you come here for the entertainment and to hear me screw up things and not be mr perfect like some of these youtubers are i don't know i'm not calling any any, any names out it's not even the mod you know, it's the model or some of them uh, but we've got the engine mount parts here. Now, ooh, that's cool. I just want to show this part off. This is the gunner sight for inside the cockpit with little pieces of clear. Well, not glass, but you know what I mean. Uh, you get the idea. A couple of little screws. That's so cool. It's got the little tiny, the little tiny crosshairs in it. Ah, oh, I like that. Uh, these are the engine mounts. They're all plastic bits, uh, so they're not going to actually hold up the engine, but uh, they will visually look the part. Now, you've got to take this circle uh, with the holes facing forward, and then we're going to take... Uh, which one? This is the, the narrower... I think it's only going to go... Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Those two will go there. And then those two will go there. And the, ah, okay. And then, then this little cross piece is going to go in here. I'm going to glue this together real quick and show you what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be just, just a skosh fiddly. But we'll be right back. Okay, so that wasn't too hard. Uh, it was, you know glue on those pegs at the bottom and then you glue these two into here and here and uh, that's that's it that's the engine mount built and then the gunner's sight there's literally just a hole it squeezes into on this part you can see I glued it at the back of the pin uh, but that's actually a tight fit you want to gently 
push it in the hole and wiggle it, wiggle it like back and forth that way until you get it down there and centered. And then you can put a dab of glue on the back. That's what I did. <clears throat> Next up is 18 die cast part right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. And let's see where we're at. Oh, I can't believe I recorded the first friggin' like <laughs> segment with with no audio. Always do the sound checks. If anyone on here is thinking about making YouTube videos regularly, always do a sound check. Actually, you really don't need to do a sound check. Like when people start, if they're just using like their smartphone or iPhone or Android, or like just like a straight up webcam. Or just like something like, you know, uh, you know, whatever, a regular camera with a mic built in. You don't need to worry most of the time. It's only when you start getting fancy with wireless mics and all that separate stuff. This is an amazing, let me shut up now, part. Wow. That nice detail in there. Nice rivet detail. And they got the, uh, they got the color really right. Um, the, uh. The zinc chromate. That's it. Oh, there we go. I almost almost had the comment section blow up and going, that's zinc chromate, dumbass. Something like that. Um, yeah, the zinc chromate finish is very nice. So I don't know. It's just, this might be the, uh, it's the cockpit side, cockpit floor. I'm not sure yet. Let's see what we got here. We've got a lot of little, oh, itty bitty things. Ooh, tiny little parts. Okay. Those are some wee little ones right there. We got some more screws. They just like giving us screws. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. So that's really it. It's 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 a couple screws. These itty bitty little tiny microscopic pieces. There's a little clear part there. Looks like it goes right in that little hole there. So yeah, we'll see here. Let me take a quick peek. See at the instructions. We're going to glue that little window in to that little hole. Uh, glue window from the underside. Very small amount of super glue. Yeah, yeah. Very, very small. Otherwise, it'll haze over. Like, super small. Um, another trick to keep from hazing is to put your part in there. Okay. Um, and then hit it with the uh, the kicker. However... They don't want us to let it ooze out. Let's see here. Just the tiniest. You know what we're actually going to do is we're going to get a little uh, pokey bit. I'm going to put a little dab of this on a piece of plastic and uh, use a little pokey thing to just dab just a tiny amount of crazy glue in there. Um, Wayne does that with a little uh, a pin vise and a little sewing needle or something like that. We'll be right back one sec. Well, my wife is not craft as crafty as, as Wayne's, and I just used just a, a test capacity, a test uh, resistor I was using for something. And I just put a little dab on uh, on this piece of plastic baggie here, and just just ran a little inside the rim and pushed in the window, and that seemed fine. And now we're gonna flip this over, and we've got to put on this itty bitty little tiny microscopic hose thingy it's got two pins on it and uh it it just it just goes down into here and here yeah it's gonna go down right in that general vicinity right there and there's two holes in there this is super small okay i'm gonna glue that in with tweezers and my little dabs of glue and i will be right back all right, so that's glued down. A little bit fiddly because it's like rubber tube, and you want to get that. That'll stick up. You want to glue that to the floor of the cockpit, and then you'll see your two little pegs are in there. Um, and that's that. You just got to wait for the crazy glue. And then this little fella is going to glue down. Let's see. I'm so... Which way does that go? This is gonna this little thing is gonna glue into here. But it's kind of the way it's molded, 
you got to kind of flex it. So we're going to play with this a tiny bit and I'll get that in those holes and be right back. All right, so some tweezer and super glue action involved. It wanted you to glue these hoses to the cockpit floor. That's what it says in the instructions. The final picture in the instructions, they're not glued to the floor, but I'm following what it says. And also we got this tiny little plastic T handle here, plungery, probably something to do with the hydraulic system. Uh, Cause this is, I believe the manual hydraulic pump, backup pump. We got two of these little things. Maybe they just gave us two because they're really tiny and uh, an idiot like me would probably lose one when you're grabbing it with the tweezers and it goes blink and it's off into the ether, never to be seen again. So there we go. So 18 is done. Let's get 19. Ooh, let's see. This looks like some fun parts. Okay, looks like a front and back wall of the cockpit we've got here. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we've got. Ah, nice lazy Sunday. Oh, metal. Very nice. Nice metal part there. And then plastic. And some more screws. We haven't used a single screw yet. They just keep giving us screws. Thank you. I'm going to keep the screws with the machine guns with the machine guns. I'm going to keep the screws with the engine mount and the gunner sight with the engine mount and the gunner sight. I'm going to keep this little T-handle over here for some reason. And uh, we got these two little guys. And we're going to take the front wall of the cockpit. And we want the side with the four bosses. So the side with the horseshoe here, we're going to take this and we're going to plug her in right there like that now it says no glue and then we're going to take one of the screws from stage 17 Oop -doop. finally a screw okay that came out sounding funny there we go all right so there's a couple little locating pins, and then we're just going to get one screw in here. There we go. Look at me starting to screw things in on camera like a real part work YouTuber. Look at that. Okay. Oh, come on. Gunner sight is in. That's cool. I like this. I like this model a lot. And the machiney guns, these little handles are going to be facing inboard. So we're going to take the side with all the uh, screw posts and we're going to plop a machine gun right into, let's see here, how does this go? <laughs> Come on Ian, figure it out. Let's see. All right. That goes in there. I think we might have to rotate the little pins a bit on these LEDs to get that. There we go. That looks more like it. And... Does it actually fit into the groove? It's supposed to fit into the groove. Okay, so I'm gonna pry on these very carefully um, with some uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, I have a smooth jawed, no, no grippy teeth on these. And we're gonna ever so gently rotate so that the leads are like flat to the side and then get it in there. And that should hopefully allow us to get in there. Hmm, a little confused here. Okay, give me a sec, I gotta figure. Is that supposed to be clearanced? I'm gonna take a look at this. Hold on one second. Okay, so I've got to figure it figured out here. All right, so there's that, this little hook section right here, okay? It's a little L, comes down there. 
Then you'll notice at the back of here, there's that little square hole. So what you need to do is kind of rock it into place. So push down the hook in there, rock it forward, and there we go. And now they're down. And we are not gluing these. We just want to make sure that our LEDs are through there. And we'll probably want to route these wires down through here. But yeah, a little tricky. You just got to, once you figure out the right way to do it, that's it. So you got to, it's that, rock that hook into that little square hole there. And I, you didn't really, I don't really need to really uh, fiddle with the, uh, the LEDs too much. They go right in. Uh, so there we go. There's that. And we'll be back with, let's see. What, oh, that's stage complete. All right. Stage 20. Let's get out the cockpit assembly and I will return in one sec. Okay. Here's 20. More little goodies and a circuit board, and wires and stuff. Then we got a little tank here. Um, maybe engine oil. Maybe one of the many fuel tanks on this plane that would immediately burst into flames when hit with cannon fire from uh, enemy fighters. <laughs> These things did have a reputation for barbecuing their pilots rather handily. Um, it was a very cool fighter, though. They sacrificed um, <laughs> self-sealing fuel tanks, uh, armor, and uh, any chance of surviving a good strafing with utter sheer outright insane performance so we've got our little circuit board here with exceedingly thin wire wow that's really compact but it feels nice actually it's it's it feels it feels nicer than the usual part work wire i don't know why uh, it's got a texture to it almost we got some little plastic bits here so that should be fun and let's see here uh circuit board Okay. Okay, so stage 20. So we're going to bolt the circuit board to this. So these wires actually need to uh, get out of the way for now. Come on, just, just, there we go. That's fine. And we're going to bolt this little circuit board in here and get its wires tucked into this channel. And we're going to use two of these screws that came with stage 20, and I will get that done and be right back with you. All right, so those are all danced in there. Um, the two guns is Q2 and Q1. They go into their holes respectively, and you kind of try to tuck all of their wire into that channel uh, above the circuit board and below the guns. It's a little fiddly, but yeah, just just use a you know flathead screwdriver, patience, time, or the blunt end of a barbecue skewer, something like that. Nothing nothing super sharp though. And that's in there. <clears throat> and now we're going to put that aside. We're going to take our cockpit floor. And we're going to put some parts in here. This and this. Is that? Oh, that snaps on. Okay, that's cool. That just snaps on right there. That's nifty. No, no, no glue on that, supposedly. Okay. And then we got these little, we got the little pedals here. Glue those in, and we got a little handle here. So the pedals we are going to glue in right up front. So let's just get a little, little dab of the cray-cray glue. There we go. That's fine. Get our little pedals glued in right. Yeah. Okay, and then we have this little control stick that's got to go in. Is that going to go forward or is that going to go backward? Let's see which way it's indexed. Oh, it's going to fall out. Um, it's going to lean backwards. So we're going to get a little get a little glue on the tip of this. Ah. Let's see here. There we go. The manual uh, fuel pump handle. There we go. Interesting. 
Okay, and we'll just stick that in the hole. There we go. Let's get a little red dot on it. Manual means probably something like emergency. Or maybe it's for priming the engine. I don't know. Um, yeah, the foot pedal, manual, cockpit floor, control stick and column should be fitted but not glued. So they're, they're fitted but not glued. So they'll literally just flop on back because it's snapped on. Oh, okay, cool. So really, don't glue it. If you see the dotted line, read the instructions. Do not glue. And now we're going to take our machine gun and circuit board assembly. And we're going to run it up, run it down here. So we're going to get our wires. Well, I'm not on camera. Get on camera, Ian. Yeah, dumbest, dumbest channel. Dumbest channel. Just keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Dumbest channel. Um, there we go. And we're going to get that down in there. Okay. And thankfully now, the front of this cockpit floor will keep our wires somewhat in check. And we're going to hit it up with two of the screws from stage 18 that are right here. Two of them, not three of them, Ian. And I'll get these in right here and right there and I'll be right back. Well that's done. Screwed down. Starting to look like a starting to look like a cockpit. <laughs> nope, Beavis, no, control yourself. Oh boy, sorry about that guy. Stage twenty one. So we're not doing anything with this tank yet, but uh I could foresee it going somewhere okay, no let's not guess. Uh twenty one some more little bits and pieces. So, there we go. Nice little, nice little cockpit. This is fun. A uh, little cockpit. Come on. There we go. Parts out. Check. We've got, ah, oh, look at this. Nice little detail painting on there. With the artificial horizon and the, uh, the compass in there in the top, it looks like. Very nice. Cool. And uh, looks like we got a gauge panel here. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we got a bunch of little gauges that'll that'll fit into that panel. So this should... Well, everyone heard that snap? Yeah, I got a bug zapper down here. Okay, well, of course I had the control panel upside down. And there's a couple... These have to go in a very particular way. So we look in the back of here, there's a small peg and a, there's a larger peg and a smaller peg. And we want this one. I got to zoom in. That's the nice thing about the PDFs too, is uh, you can, you could just zoom in. Uh, zoom. Nope. Nope. Don't want that. Nope. 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 Cancel. 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 Arrow. Oh my God. There we go. Okay. So, back on with the Superman eyes. One of these has a temperature gauge or something. Well, there's a, there's, oh, there we go. This one should go in here. So, we're going to take just a little bit of glue. Just I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle there. We're going to pop that into that side. And then this one, we're going to put a little glue. Let me just put it on here. There we go. A little bit on there. Pop that one in. Very nice. Nice. Got our little gauges in there. Beautiful. Oh, I see. They're clear on the back. Ah, maybe they'll light up. That could be fun. And now we're going to take this gauge panel. And we're going to take this doohickey. And we're going to glue it on to the front of here. So let's see here. Okay, we're going to glue it on to the front of here. So it's in said position. 
Okay. So you get a few little dabs of glue on here. Good amount of gluing with this kit, which I honestly don't mind. Okay. And now that that's glued on, that stage is complete. So we're making a lot of sub-assemblies here. There we go. I want to make sure that I hold that for a little while. I'm going to just use the hand clamp. We'll be right back. All right, here's stage 22. This is a quickie, it looks like. Okay, so we got the side of the cockpit. All right, and we got a few little bits of plastic. These are control panels and other little doodads. Let's see here. All right, so we got the radio detection, radio direction control finder, or whatever. Yes, that thing. And that is going to glue on to right here. That's going to go on there. And then this little Lego, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, radio telephone control, that's going to go on to there. And then this tiny little... Little guy, it's got a D-shaped hole in the back. That's going to go right there. I'll get those glued on real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, well, they're glued on, and 2022 20, is complete. Now, those little switches on there, I just, just touched the edges of them with just a silver Sharpie just because I, I wanted to make the switches pop a little more. Um, like, I'm really... There's really nothing to modify in this kit. This is probably... The most work I would do to it is potentially just, you know, a little a little silver sharpie here or there. Maybe a couple of uh, smudges uh, on the outside here and there of the plane when we're done. But really, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I'm building, it's, look, the only ones in existence, there's one actually flying, I think. Maybe there's a second one operational. The rest are just, there's a few museum pieces. Uh, the Smithsonian, I believe, the or the Air and Space, yeah. Air and Space Museum or Smithsonian, well, it is the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. Ian, you serious idiot. Uh, they have one hanging up. I don't know what kind of engine's in it. I don't know what condition it's in. It's definitely not flyable. Um, it is a ceiling ornament. Uh, so let's get out stage 23. Quit our lip, lip flapping. You're here to see a model being built. Some people are here to watch an idiot build a model. Not just, build, not just model building. They want to see... A certified fool do it. Um, and, you know, if you're here for that reason, thank you. I appreciate it. So here we've got a little uh, a little light. Now this may, I believe these are, yeah, they're interior lights for inside the cockpit. We've got a few little control panel, you know, controls and knobs and levers and things here. So that's fun. And what are we going to do? We're going to glue some more things on. So we've got this little fella, and that's going to glue on right, yeah, right there. So let me get that glued on, and then we're going to, so we got that there, and then we got this little, this little lever. This is the, uh, the hand crank for the passenger side window uh, for when you go to McDonald's. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, it's clearly a, a hand control for something, and that's going to fit in an indexed hole only one way. Uh, so I'll get those glued on. I'll be right back. All right, so we glued our little levers on. I also glued these two, and they were pretty easy. The one with the bend in it goes at the top. The, the straight one goes at the bottom. And then we're just going to take our light, and we're going to feed the wire right through here, and there's it's keyed, so it only goes in one way. So it'll be facing... Um, down like that, forward and down. So that's probably to illuminate the controls inside the cockpit, maybe with a red light. We're not going to glue this. 
do not glue that light in. And that is stage complete. 23 is done. Let's put that to the side. Let's get 24. Surprise, surprise. Other side of the cockpit, I think. Ha uh -huh. There we go. Okay. These little, I hate when the staples go everywhere. Let's see here. So stage 24. We've just got this side of the cockpit. The other side. I don't know which side's which at this point. Uh, we've got this part right here with some speed holes in it. And we've got three little plastic bits here. We'll take those out. And this is just going to be a quick glue together job, probably. So we're going to take. Uh, I think we're actually going back to the side of the cockpit. And we're going to take this little, this little handle and glue her into that hole right up there. Like, ah, like that. Yeah, it's, it's got a D pin on it, so it's only really going to go in one way. So we just get a little, a little dab of the, little dab of the crazy stuff on there. You know, the full proper term is, ow. Oh my God, I glued my thumbnail to it. Jeez. Oh, there we go. How you doing, Agora? How's everyone over there at HQ watching me build this, clenching their teeth? No, it's fine. It's fine. It glued right in. I... <laughs> I'm always gluing myself to something. That's the fun, you know? If you don't glue your fingers to something once in a while, you're not really modeling, are you? Now there's these two holes here, a larger and a smaller, and this, this, uh, let's see here, and a different, what's the name of this control? Ah, oh, the elevator correction wheel. There we go. Look at me using terminologies like, I don't, you know, I, uh, I'm a bit of, you know, of a fighter nerd. Like, I like all the fighters. I'm not, um, very knowledgeable, though, uh, as far as all of the mechanical and aeronautical terms. Like, obviously, I had to practice elevators, rudder, flaps, ailerons, you know, but, uh, Wayne, I say ailerons correctly, I believe. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to get in trouble. No, 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 I'm kidding. Wayne's a cool guy. He's not going to get mad at me. Uh, he was, uh, I think he was saying ailerons or something. That might just be the British way, though, you know, because they just emphasize some words, and they just sound cooler. I don't know why. Now, these little itty-bitty gauges have to go into a hole, and honestly, I am having trouble figuring out, okay, I got to put on the magnifiers for this one. Okay. So, this little needle should be in, like, the 10 o'clock position, 9 o'clock position, and that is going to go through the back of this panel here, and there is a little peg on the back of it, and we're just going to put a dab of CA glue on this itty-bitty peg in the middle of those two gauges. There we go. Okay. And they're just we're just going to lay that down and let that glue dry. And that's it for that stage. Okay, well, that was easy. Stage 25. Here we go. Some more itty bitty little bits. Ah, there we go. Ah, one of the hardest parts of building a part work is ripping open all the packaging. There we go. We've got the low, we've got the little light for the other side of the cockpit. And some more little plasticky bits. There's a lot of little things in this cockpit. It's pretty cool. Let's see here. I sometimes I save a couple of Ziploc bags. I hoard them like like the crazy lady that steals a shopping cart from the supermarket. Um, and then on this side of the cockpit, we've got this little uh, emergency floating gear cock and piping. Okay. Hey, it's written in the instructions. I didn't make that up. 
We're going to glue that right there. Um, I don't... I don't write the jokes, everybody. They write themselves. Uh, there we go. So we're just going to glue our little uh, gear cock thing into place. There we go. We always love saying words that sound bad, but they're not when they're used appropriately. Okay. And then we have the throttle lever and mixture control lever. Oh, right here, this little guy. And that is going to, why don't I zoom in a little so everyone can actually freaking see what I'm doing for, there we go, let's move this stuff out of here. So this little guy has a D-shaped hole, and it's going to go that way. Watch out, I almost dislodged my cock lever. Stay. It's hard getting your cock lever to stay where you want it. They're, they're somewhat disobedient appendage in a cockpit um here we go we're gonna get that uh that snaps into place a little that's nice and then propeller control lever maybe that's the propeller control i don't know anymore um this little guy this little piggy went to market and it's going to go right in this hole here Wow, like all these little itty-bitty parts. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of this. There's really not much left to glue in besides that thing. Um, but, yeah, let's do that. Let's. Oh, we're going on too long. Let me hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, the wife brought home Chinese food. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, back on this. Uh, we're basically just about done with um, stage 25. We just got to take this fuel tank switching pipe. This little guy, throw a tiny bit of CA glue on there. All right, stand up. <clears throat> and then there's a large and small hole right here, and it only goes in one way, so I don't need to really explain it any more than that. But, yeah, it just, just goes in right there. My part has a little bit of a blemish. I think it's just... It was hot. It touched with something hot maybe during the injection molding process. I doubt all of them look like that. Um, but otherwise, it's fine. It's going to be stuffed away in the cockpit. Maybe it's supposed to have that little notch in it. We don't know yet because there's still a whole lot more stuff that has to get uh, stuffed into this thing. So we're going to take this side of the cockpit here, and we're going to take this whole panel and it's going to go into these three holes here, here, and here. So we're going to get a little bit of little cray-cray glue on here. It's like I have all these lights for filming. It actually makes it really hard for me to see sometimes because it's just, it's just so bright in here. Uh, it's like too much light. I don't know how they, here we go, how they do it. Okay, and that's in there. Damn, this thing looks cool. This is getting uh, fairly intricate. Now, if you want to see like what what makes me what makes me tick sometimes, is like I'll just take the silver sharpie and this is black part right here, and I'll just do like a a dot a dot a dot a dot a little little stripe there. And then on this green guy here, some of those may be lights. I don't know. But I'm going to do a little dot, a dot. And I'm just going to do that one there. I'm like, it's just, just fun to add a little, come on, focus, a little visual appeal. See, I just did a few little, little taps with the Sharpie. And it's, it's fun. So we do that. And then we're going to get our other light here. We're going to put that, we're going to take that other light, we're going to put that wire through there. And then that notch, the light has that little notch in there, and it'll point down at a slight angle. And we got that there. Let's see here, step three, stage complete, stage 26. So now this is the last pack of parts. This is the last last stage of parts here in this box. Let's open her up. If you hear huffing and puffing down there, I have one of my dogs with me. 
And he's just like, oh. <laughs> Gave him a brand new bully stick to chew on. And he's ignoring it. Because he'd rather be upstairs with the female parental unit. We don't say the M word down here. We've got a whole bunch of little tanks here. I think, I think these are probably oxygen tanks. More than likely. We got this, looks like the back wall of the cockpit. Nice. And we're gonna... So we're gonna take the side that has these two little bits sticking out. And we're gonna glue the oxygen tanks on. Oh, yeah, and that, that sticks into a notch on the bottom of the oxygen tank. All right. So I'm going to get a little crazy glue on. I'll get those on, and I'll be right back. And I'll uh, zoom out a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, our little oxygen tanks are on, and we got to put um, these little seat frame brackets <clears throat> into the back wall. They're really small, and there's, there's a right and a left. And you can tell because the top angles down a bit. And that little cup should face inward. So we're going to get those glued on. <clears throat> and one is going to go over here. Like so. So that is a, a half moon hole or, you know, a D-shaped hole. Whatever you want to say. And the other one we're going to put. Right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and that's uh, stage 26 complete. Okay, so everything's still just sort of blown apart here. Um, so we're at the end of pack three. And you can see we, we have a lot of the, the walls of the cockpit built. We're like... They're just they're just asking to be assembled, but I'm gonna wait until the instructions tell me to do so in pack four. Um, so that's that. For t this was this is a lot of detail in this build, a lot of detail, a lot of fun little parts, and it gives you the opportunity to you know add a couple little dots of a silver sharpie if you want to make the little buttons pop. Now once this is in there and the pilot's in there and the things, you're not gonna see any of those little dots I added. You're just not. Um, which is why they're not on there in the first place. It's, it's the logic of, you know, if nobody's going to see it, do you need to do it? Well, for me, sometimes, yeah, why the hell not? But other times, it's just a waste. So um, if something's going to be completely visible, it seems to have extremely nice detail. And if something's going to be invisible once it's built, then uh, they could just kind of opt out of uh, going the extra mile, which is, that's a constant debate in the modeling industry in general. Like with all modelers, it's like, oh, do you... Do you do the full interior of the B-17 bomber, even if you're only going to see 10% of it? I say do at least the 10% of it you're going to see, plus a little more, in case someone tilts their head a little further. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So that's that for now. Uh, Agora Models, links in the description below. Uh, my little Amazon uh, shopping list is down below. My email address. Email me for a sticker. I'll mail you out. A cool sticker. Uh, multiple varieties of stickers. With many, many different, many different stickers. Either way, that's it for tonight. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Adios.